morning you guys and welcome to a very special vlog. Today is year 23 or is it going on to 24 for Mr. Ryan. Hi. Wow, 23. Yeah, so folksy. To start off his birthday, he requested that we make cinnamon roll waffles. So, I gotta get it all set up. You can just stay there. We got the waffle maker, three plates, and some immaculate cinnamon rolls because Ryan can eat these. So if you haven't done this, this is definitely, definitely the easiest way to make cinnamon rolls. And we really like them because it's Basically instant gratification. We don't have to wait 20 minutes to get the first cinnamon roll. Oh, I gotta plug this bad boy in. I'll be back. Whoa! Y'all didn't see that. It exploded on its own. Did That's... you really just peel it off and blast it off? I, Ryan, I just had it sitting here. And I went and plugged oh. it in. Oh. It really did it on its own. You can do this with any cinnamon rolls. But these ones are like the best. They actually are cinnamon rolls and Ryan can eat them, so. I always win instead of the like Pillsbury ones. So today we might go and pick up Ryan's sister from college, but we are waiting to see if we can or if we should be extra safe. So we might not be able to actually go and pick her up, but if we do, we'll bring you with. Cinnamon roll directly in the center and then you just close it slowly Twist it. Wait for it to be ready And look at how cute that is We're big into the Ryan eating content these days <laughs> Okay, let's get your Let's get your review I gotta let him out first I can't eat it with solid butter. I'm not a psychopath mm. like Michael Oh, hi. I can see you watching me there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Always very good. I like that. The pastry dough is very, um, I don't know, stretchy. Like, here, like, look at this. When you, like, break it apart. Oh yeah, oh, just delicious. Ryan, what do you hope happens in year 23 of your life? Mm, you can't just spring that shit on me. Why not? <gasps> what are you supposed to do for birthdays? Um, I hope I get to travel somewhere and climb a big tree mm. like I don't know like Sequoia Redwood Mountain Ash something cool like that we have Mountain Ash here but they only get like 25 feet tall or 35 feet tall and then they just die uh, probably not the same kind of Mountain Ash and I'd like to buy a bus mm, I like those goals Probably. Probably, Probably a bus, it's a goal. Unless we, unless we decide on something else, but yes, bus. Like a van, you mean? Bus. Well, well, no, something else to live in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We bus, need to get started on maybe. the bus soon. Yeah, we'd have to buy it like February, March. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as we had a bed in it, we'd be okay, I think. Well, this lease is up in August. August so yeah we'd have like all summer to work on it yeah but when we start living it it would be cold <laughs> so we'd have to have that lockdown for the insulation in our yeah. wood fireplace and shit mm -hmm. gonna have to bleep you mister I'm sorry <laughs> yeah let's get a bus and climb trees we gotta find the perfect one we saw the perfect one in um i think Montana. a long one would be okay because we're not traveling in it i mean yeah yeah okay, why wouldn't yeah. we yeah if we're just living in it then a normal size one but we we're saw, not planning like, on yeah the traveling perfect in it. camper one in montana i would guess it was 40 feet long with probably a 
probably like a 25, 27 foot wheelbase. Mm -hmm. It because it was a cab over. Oh, it was so sick. Yeah. But yeah, it was like the perfect size if you were just like camping. But if mm -hmm. you're living out of it, it doesn't matter if we go with like a regular, what would it be, like 55 foot? We're planning on having plus. it just be stationary in one place. Yeah. Yeah. Stationary and then, you know, when we want to move, instead of packing up a moving truck, instead we just got to make sure house. the engine's filled up on oil, check all the fluids, make sure all the fluids are good, mm. and then just Reattach take the wheels. off. Do you have any other goals? Or just those two? Mm. I want to make something that other people buy like a climbing tool mm -hmm. right now ooh, let me so. which brings us to the follow tree spice so you can follow him on that journey yeah because <clears throat> i really i have been using hitch based adjustment systems for a long time in tree climbing but i would like to use a mechanical device but i don't really like the mechanical devices that are available i think there's a lot of cool ones but not one that i like in particular <clears throat> Probably the closest one to what I like is like the ART positioner, but it's still like even a little too fancy for me. So it pains me to say this, but my favorite idea that I've seen is this Petzl adjust system that I have on this lanyard that I just made myself for my birthday. The only thing that's wrong with this is you can't release it under load. So I'm going to climb with this for a while, but it's going to be like climbing with a rope grab, which isn't always ideal. It's good for like a buck strap if you're only climbing spars, but not for me not as good when you're pruning and stuff so i'll climb with it for a while see how i like it but i'd like to make something because i love this because it's just one piece of metal that's it it's just one solid piece of aluminum so that's super cool but i would prefer to add or change the way it's used a little bit to have a handle and maybe change some of the shape of it a little bit so that you can uh, have a bigger sweet spot when you're descending because if you release the load here it either comes out faster not nah, you only have like one degree of nice descent but yeah make something like that or i also want to make um i got these rigging rings for my uh saddle that i want to have made so that that saddle's easier to use he yeah, showed you in his last like video that. on the saddle like his saddle review video yeah, he yeah. shows you a little a 3D, 3d model model of the one that i want to use mm -hmm. so go check yeah, that out if you want to that'd be sweet see what he wants to make i like your goals cutie thanks what should we do for the rest of the day we might just have to climb a tree yeah oh just so we're not gonna go to moorhead anymore because i haven't gotten my test results back but uh i don't know i'm gonna do some laundry and then we're gonna go for a walk and then hopefully we'll go climb a tree when the laundry's all done and we'll see maybe maybe i'll have that other rope spliced by then but yeah, climb a tree. Birthday tree. Birthday tree! Hi Katie and Ryan's YouTube followers. My name is Josie. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about the two best people I know. Katie and Ryan. Today is Ryan's 23rd birthday. We are sitting here and remembering all of the years that he's grown and enjoyed his many allergies and we're appreciating all of the times that he's climbed trees and fixed things. Um, on this day we also remember Katie B and the support that she gives to Ryan and the food that she makes for him otherwise he would simply eat bread only and maybe noodles all the time. Um, I would like to introduce myself now. My name is Josie. I am the godmother to their unborn child um, and the godfather as well. We're a, a two-in-one deal around here, and I feel honored to be in the YouTube. Thank you. Goodbye. We just got some birthday lunch. So Minnesota good. is on lockdown again, so restaurants and bars aren't open for the inside, I think starting tomorrow. Um, tonight. Tonight. So, we got it to go to be extra safe. We did. We had the same thing last night. I got this burger last night and Ryan got those fries. And I ate a whole thing of pasta before I got this and I still almost finished the one last night. Yeah, and it's a lot of fries. Family size, baby. Yeah. Love me a restaurant with a family size order of fries. They're so good though. Culver's, Bulldog, and at the state fair where they have the ice cream bucket size of fries. So if you're ever in Duluth 
Bulldog's a really good place to eat. Um, it's kind of a weird place. You know, you wouldn't expect much from it, but I would say it's a fan favorite from families. Mm -hmm. um, or else, at Sarah's table is really good. We're gonna go there to drop off my compost. Pizza Luce. There's a lot of good lot. places to eat. Yeah. They got it last night. I saw Sophia's story. I was just doing a quick tree inventory and I didn't see a lot of stuff that I really super liked. I think the only thing that was gonna be fun was gonna be like birch trees. So I think we'll go just to the to Chester Bowl because it's reliable. I know I'll find something there. Maybe not exactly what I'm looking for, but be away from people, which is most important. Because I get embarrassed talking to a camera in front of people. So stay trained. So we'll go somewhere that is not that far away from the road, but definitely don't have to worry about people. Brian's gonna go scout out some trees. This is his birthday adventure. He mentioned it before that his test results haven't been back and his test results for COVID. We do not believe he has it, but just because people around us not necessarily that we've been like in close contact with well not me him have tested positive so he's just getting tested to be safe um so he's doing that which is a bummer because it means even though i'm i like it he doesn't get to spend his birthday with anyone but me but we spend every day just us two so we were really hoping to be able to hang out with his family and have a little birthday celebration to pick up his sister from college. So, kind of a weird birthday for him. Um, I would say probably weirder than any just, you know, corona time birthdays. I know they're all weird this year, but like, to not be able to see anyone is a real big bummer for him. But, we're still making a great day of it. We've had fun so far, just lounging around our house and I finished editing a video which is really good. I think he's gonna edit a video later today and yep we're gonna climb a tree which is gonna be fun. It's kind of chilly out but he's been wanting to do this for a really long time so it's like your birthday is the day that we will do that if we can't see anyone else and go pick up your sister. So that's what we're doing um, and let us know if you like the quality from this camera a lot better. We definitely do. It's a lot easier filming on your own. I filmed a couple of videos that will go up after this one that just make it so much easier to actually film when you're the only person filming. Because I don't always have Ryan to help me. I rarely actually do. Um, and it's going to be nice for when I am filming Ryan. So all I have to do is really keep the camera on him instead of like having to adjust the focus. But... We'll bring you with on our tree climbing adventure. We gotta see if Ryan likes any of the trees around here, but we'll bring you on our adventure. Well, Ryan's climbing a tree. Um, I got instantly too cold, so now I'm back in the car warming up, and I'm just gonna wait for him to be done. Um, but yeah, I feel bad because I said I'd climb a tree with him. But my hands and feet and body just cannot take the cold whatsoever. Sorry, Ryan. But I think he's going to have fun um, climbing on his own. And I can insert some GoPro clips if he gets some that aren't for his other video. And those will be right here. We'll just call this the top. It's my birthday. I'm not going to go too crazy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Actually, I'll just set my line and we'll go just a teeny bit higher. So to pop top, almost. That's, that's pretty thick for a soda pop. Top. Yeah, see, 10 slack just fine, but it's not feed slack very well. Oh, and she's worth it. Look at that view. Oh, let's do a fancy swipe one more time. 
Oh, I'm sorry, pal. Yeah, that white pine's pretty brittle. Oh, yeah. Look at that view. Hello, Park Point. And Lake Superior. Alright, time to go down. Pop this. Not to make lanyarding easier off, so that this pulley will tend as I climb down. Oh, white pine, you smell so lovely. Look at that. Beautiful splice. Pull it out in nature. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's kind of self-tending. Worked better than I thought it would. lower and I'll start setting up for repel on those two fellas. <laughs> Happy Dang. birthday! Thank you. <laughs> it's just what I wanted. You should have melted like a candle to the top. Well Ryan is playing at video games, his fun birthday activity. <laughs> Other than, other than climbing a tree. I'm gonna work on cutting out this print um, that I've made. And it's this really fun Natty Parks print. And I had gotten it printed through a service. And it's like way more desaturated when I got it printed for me than when I print it myself. Um, so if anyone is watching this and you want to get one of these prints, one, you can check out my, either my Instagram, at Katie Birth, or my art Instagram, which I will put on the screen. I do not remember the name of it, but it is going to be more desaturated than what you see, just because this is very blue and orange. But I'm going to cut it up right now and get it to its 8x10 size. And yeah, I can show you also how I package it for the mail and kind of just what I use and if anyone has more sustainable and eco-friendly ways of packaging than I do um please let me know right now I'm just using stuff that I found at Walgreens but when I went to Office Depot I couldn't find anything better really so that's what I'm doing for now but I also want it to be budget friendly so I can keep having my prints have free shipping because no one likes to pay for shipping. So the way that I package them is that I use a um, like a sheet protector. So this used to have three ring hole spots here and I just cut it off. But then I slip the piece of paper inside and I just fold down the edge to prevent water damage from happening. Um, I don't think that it's the perfect solve, but I definitely think that it helps prevent it. And then I slip it inside a, just a clasp and envelope this way this is pretty recyclable I know that the sleeve is not but I also think that if someone wanted to just hang up their print without putting holes in it they could just keep it in the sleeve and tape or pin that to the wall and have it hang there I think that would look pretty cool again if anyone has a more sustainable way specifically for the sleeve I would love to know just put that in the comments so I I can know Birthday boy wants some country fried potatoes. I'll take you through how we make them.
I gave up on showing you guys how to make potatoes. I will put a link in the description for a recipe. Um, the recipe that I followed uses regular butter, but I just use vegan butter. Um, but other than that, I think it's all the same. If there's any other substitutes that I had to make, I just do it by eye, by the way, too. And I don't want too much spices because Ryan wouldn't like it that way. But maybe we can get his review when he's trying a few in a little bit. He's already had some, though. All right, sweet. We, we got some potato sampling going on here. Uh, best thing about these potatoes is that when you boil them, they get the nice crispy outsides because there's a little bit of mush on the outside that gets fried. So it's like, They're not like breading, but yeah, yeah, fluffy and crispy. Good balance. They're so good. Just the right amount of salt, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've done it before where you just skip straight to frying them, but the boiling is important. Oh, yeah. It boiling, is not the yeah, same. Yeah. You gotta boil the potatoes before you fry them. Mm-hmm. They so just good. get, like, light and fluffy, but also, like, mm -hmm. they're dense still. Oh, yeah. They're potatoes. <laughs> they're potatoes. <laughs> they're potatoes, but they're really good potatoes. Happy birthday. Mm, thank you. Mm. How would you rate your birthday today out of 10? I don't know, really good. Oh, that's a good number. 10 out of 10? Yeah. 10 out of 10, that's a good day. Well, I think we're gonna go over to Ryan's parents' house to eat cake that his mom made. His mom is like the best cook oh, yeah. ever, so. Chocolate mousse, baby. Yeah, we're excited for that. So we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and Go subscribe to Ryan's channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.